How are you rotating <laughs> with your crosser on the ground and you peek you ho aiming at the floor? Is the new agent Ant Man like did I miss the update? I'm your coach Key, and a few days ago I had a session with a Plat Phoenix who didn't understand why they weren't improving, and oh god, did we find a lot of things. So our big two things are 100% going to be timings playing to advantages because you're making really good decisions and putting yourself in good positions, but we're not playing to the advantage of the situation. Yeah, we talked about how great decision making can be your downfall, the trick to off angles, and the two best ways to learn timings. And stick around to the end to see the session notes that you can use. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, sir. Morning, Mr. Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I see that phoenix. How the boss does it, yeah? Ghost flash on pistol. I'm down. Phoenix. Oh my god. Kim. Yeah. <laughs> what the f- I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Buddy. Now we gotta watch it back again. And I'm gonna ask you. I gotta ask you. What in God's green earth? Is this cross replacement? I don't know. Don't how, how are you <laughs> rotating with your crosser on the ground and you peek, you ho, aiming at the floor? <laughs> is the new agent Ant Man? Like, did I miss the update? <laughs> and then when you peek this, you're shooting at kneecaps here. This is like usually it's the crotch at least. This is kneecaps. <laughs> so that's insane. Besides that, the flashes are good. Full abilities, full armor, Spectre, W. We wait for timing here. Oh, such a creamy keyboard. You're a little crazy for all this. <laughs> okay, pause, go back. People were B. Could the people still be B long? Probably. Good. So if you want to grab the orb, what should you do? Uh, either flash out or walk mm. off. Yep. Or Pref prefer preferably the wall. Flash and molly are like temporary. They don't really cover the problem. Ball will cover the problem. And there's an even bigger reason. What happens if you die on this round? What happens if you die in this round? First of all, like what kind of round is this? Yeah, yeah. We, we have advantage here, right? They have pistols. So yes. take my gun. And the easiest, right. yeah, the easiest way to lose that advantage is to give him a gun, a kill, and he, also an orb, but orb's not a big deal. So you want to be extra careful with the risk you take here. Also, it turns out you grab this orb and there were three guys in hookah. So that's fun. Now, I think I, uh, this would be something interesting to talk about, so I'll try to continue the theme. You're in an advantage in this position, right? Am, nope. I in a, am I in an advantage? Yeah. I don't think so. Or may, maybe I am because I heard... I heard at least two, right? Yep, we hear so, him coming out hookah. And I don't know if there could be still be long. So I'm yep. kind of just like stuck here. So, oh, you um, feel like you're at a disadvantage here? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. So yeah, uh, yeah. it's a good point. Why could there be no one long here? Because it, it uh, is the case. There is no way you get hit swung by long. Yeah, I think it's unlikely, for sure. Because I heard like two or three, and I see rays. Yep. Um, like the odds of someone walking up that quickly is, I would have probably heard it. Um, Good. Yes. Yeah. You, you have a very strong timing here. I would also think that when you grab this orb, which very risky play, which we know now, someone probably would have swung you when you grabbed the orb as well. If there was someone here. So this position is actually really advantageous. This is a big thing on bind. Let me go on and pull up Fallow Plant so I can show you what this kind of looks like. Vine is a very big map for like these rat angles. So like when people are coming out sight and you have control of this area and this area, it's really annoying to deal with as an attacker. So they're actually really strong positions. Really strong. Um, so part of the reason of bringing this up is you're actually really okay here to take a fight. You're really okay here to take a bite because you're at the advantage and you don't have to usually when we use abilities, it's to like gain an advantage. Like when we're at a disadvantage, we want to like 
when you're here, you can actually just take fights and you just want to play around this position. Um, because because we tuck here and we choose like a more passive option, right? Instead of holding this line, you're you're pinning on the map. They run past that line, they get all the way close. You can't see it here, but someone literally ran through your screen and went into this cubby here. And all you had to do was hold somewhat of an angle and you kill this guy for free and then you flash after once your position's exposed and they're all looking your way. Does that make sense? Can you can you kind of see that? Okay. Yeah, so it's like being a little bit... Well, I didn't actually didn't hear the right now. So maybe I should have held... Like tucked and hold, held elbow, right? Is that what you said? Um, you could have held elbow, but you were honestly fine to hold this line here. Because right now they're all here. And there's no way they could be passed here. But you gave up this, and you ended up holding this line, so then they got all this space here for free. I see. And I 100% think that if you're holding any sort of line here, even like a little more passive one like this, you would have gotten one who was just like looking backside or towards elbow. Like this Reyna literally ran into this corner. I see, I see. And then once you expose your position right, everyone looks this way. You see how you're basically fighting like a 4v1 here? Yeah, yeah. So that's why you want to kind of get that jump on him first. That makes sense. Though. I would also think about buying here just because you have ult. I think Phoenix's ult is like a big part of his playstyle, right? You just get this thing lickety quick and I can see you're already trying to farm orbs and stuff. Which is yeah. the right thing. So if you have the ult, I would also think about just buying a, a decent gun. Okay, that makes sense. Even if it sacrifices the eco? Yeah, even if it sacrifices the eco a little. Like I got it. just gives such good odds. Nice fast rotate here. Oh, ult through showers. Okay, I'm done. Oh, we kind of missed the timing though. But I like the idea. Yeah, someone's in showers. You heard him though. Nice oh, sure. I'm usually against those type of plays, but this one's pretty good. Um, I would only suggest you make it off Intel and try to get the good timing. So um right now i'm just gonna say do it off intel because i can tell we're having a little we're, we're trying to figure out timings right now and that just comes with the more you play the game so i would just suggest trying to go off the intel that you have yeah. so if we don't get any intel showers i would just save this ult for when you have your five teammates on site retaking because that's more like a consistent way and if you want ult through showers you need a teammate like fighting showers and seeing that there's people there does that make sense yeah so oh, i see Yeah, timings is a big thing right now. Um, nice deadlock trips. Omega lol just walked past, about to kill the whole team from behind. Oh, you can so jump over that. How do you Breaking. know when you, when you can jump over it? Uh, time, play cipher. Uh, also just take the gamble sometimes. Yeah, we lost everything we had here. Nice though. Oh, Cypher's in the TP. That's actually rough. Um, okay. So our big two things are 100% going to be timings and playing to advantages. Because you're making really good decisions and putting yourself in good positions, but we're not playing to the advantage of the situation. And it also comes down to understanding timings. So when I see you go for this flank play, I was actually really happy because this is a really good play. We haven't done this yet. Um, we kind of like peeked around and we got Intel A. But when I see a teammate die on A, this always signals to me that they're going to hit the site like faster, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of down to like maybe knife out, maybe push a little bit more. I was like, okay, he might just be waiting for a bit more Intel. There's like a Sova drone. And once you see this, I'm like, okay, they're still short. I'm in the perfect position here. All I have to do is catch them off guard. And you see this and you see the trip and you're like, I can't push past there or I don't know what to do. So I want you to imagine you're this deadlock. You are a clueless, brainless idiot. And you are looking towards sight at teammates. How long do you think it takes to, for her to register that someone breaks trip? Uh, it'll probably take... I'll probably be able to walk up to that corner and she'll, she'll know. Yep, perfect. That is like the exact timing. So the second you break trip, you insta-swing here and I know you have a guaranteed kill. 
when you are in this position too, and you know someone's right around this corner and you've already put yourself in this position, it's really good to go for that extra mile. Because if you don't, like this is the timing I was worried about happening. And this is what happens, you just left. They just left and now you're out of position. Like you're just like your teammates here now, right? You have this really nice flank and it's gone now. So that this is another like big advantage advantage that I want you to play around. This is a really good position to be in, right? Your position so far has been really good, but we got to kind of um, play around it more. Take a little bit of risk um, to make it work. I'm talking about don't use the flash in the last position, break the trip here and just swing. Yeah, okay, one thing I want you to be more comfortable with is knowing the like when a player is unaware that you can actually get away with a lot more than you think. When a player has to check all those angles, right? We talked about when they come out sight, all these angles. When a player has to worry about getting shot from here and here immediately when you break trip, also really good. So when you think a player is unaware, I just want you to take risk. That's going to be like the big thing for that. God damn, we almost have orb again. Nice waiting for flash here. Timing's getting scary here. Yeah, good to flash. Scary to knife out though. Hundred percent. That was kind of troll. So we we kind of made you a different playbook here. I'm down to flash and clear. We don't see anything. Um, we basically have two options right now. Option one is to throw this wall, grab orb. Option two is to play around this flash when you peek here. And you don't see anything here. Remember today's teachings that this position's OP as heck. And you just stay here and you basically win B site. Especially with their flashes. Knife out is 100% troll. So like Sky flashes here doesn't get anything. Yeah. I flash and this, like, I, so it's like when you said the timing was kind of sus, right? Like I'm just staying there. And so I'm like, okay, if they haven't pushed up long, probably not there. Because you see nothing long here and you're like, okay, they're not long. Um, timings is based on two things, two big things. One of which we're having a little trouble with. The second we can find. How do you think we find timings or no timings in this game? Also, I don't really know what timings is. <laughs> like, besides like, I, the way I find it is like, what are the odds that someone can be here or not here, right? Yeah, very, very close to that very close set it's it's one yeah. of the odds people can be there based on like their last position or like where they could have started off so like start of round there's no way in their spawn or there, there's no way they're in your spawn right there's no way they made it yeah, that's a yeah. timing there's no way they're in hookah that's a timing yeah i mean you could i think you could find out where they are by by using i guess whatever initiator you have or like whatever like characters yes. that can get you the info Yes, exactly. Perfect. So the very first thing you're looking for for timings is info. Um, the second thing, which we were talking about, like start of the round, they can't be there. You're like, hell yeah, that makes sense. That's game sense. So that's the second part of it. This one will take a bit more time to build up. Um, and I, I already think you have a, a good understanding of it. But the info is the big thing we're looking for right now. Do we have info that people aren't there? And if the answer is no, that means this is a danger zone. And that's so that's why I kind of want you to start processing these areas in your mind. If we don't have info, they're there. That's a danger zone. If we have info, then we can play around that. The the other info you're looking for is nothing C lawn or nothing B lawn, but also like they're all hookah. You need to see that they're all hookah so you can be like, there's no way we don't have the any intel C lawn. All the intel's in hookah. That's another thing. Also, same thing here when you're one off orb. Um, and your tunes are also buying up a little. I probably will like uh, light armory stinger, maybe. I don't know, whatever gun you're comfortable with, some armory. Just because you get orb here, but then you have like a fucking classic. So I'm like, this guy's gonna get zero kills this round, even if you use ult. Just imagine like doing this. You almost got the gun here, but just imagine doing this and you just have like just a sheriff how different these kind of engagements will go when you take the fight. So my crossbow placement's freaking ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's playing hookah. 
Don't know where Cypher is. So this is a fun game. Let's talk timings. Both just took TP. We ran through spawn. We're in this position. Where do you think both players are? Actually, we know Sova's in Hookah. What timings do you think the Cypher has? Where could he be? I, I legit feel like he could be anywhere. Well, my mindset definitely at the time was they could be anywhere. Like literally, any, even an elbow. Okay. Because like, they planted before I even got to the site. So, yep. um, like that's I'm pretty cautious. But sometimes I just sack some angles because you just got to gamble sometimes in these situations. <laughs> I think maybe that's not the right way to think about it. But um, yeah, no, I, I at this point, I think they, they, they can be anywhere. Like, okay. So I like that. We'll talk about why that's actually not the case here in just a second. But you are right that like sometimes you just have to sack some angles and take some stupid risks. Because if he does go elbow or lawn and actually plays back, it really sucks for you. But as long as you're aware of these angles, which is like kind of the goal here, I just want you to be aware um, that he could be there and take the angles appropriately. So for example, when I see you run out sight here, after seeing Silva, and I'm like, we haven't seen Cypher this entire time. And then you run out and don't check right and don't try to clear sight. I'm just like, yeah, he could have just been cooked right here. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I just want you to be aware that he could be anywhere and just try to check everywhere as, as much as you can. Um, okay. the, the reason why we actually didn't have to do this is because we missed out on one piece of intel. Right here. What just got planted? What oh, just got planted? Yeah, yep. yeah. So who had to have planted the spike? Hundred percent. So now you can kind of eliminate sometimes, and you can just say he's in this like general area. How, how do you know Cipher planted though? Like, what uh, to okay. Oh my God, Kip! Amazing question. Do you think this player planted the bomb and then ran up here? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, you're right. There we go. So this is how you start to like process of eliminate players and actually get like really good intel. That allows you to better approach your situation. Because you don't have intel here, like I'm just like, this situation's cooked. It's really hard to play around. I see. Turns out this cypher went long. Maybe I could have walled that off or something. Yes, good, good, good. Thinking the same thing. I'm down with the list flash. I'm done. Same thing here. Nice position. Good early flink. We heard, we heard something. Oh. Um, since we talked about it, I will mention it. Although, like, I'm not pressed if you do it. Remember we talked about, like, this angle versus this angle when you were playing this lawn position? Let me get rid of yeah. all this other garbage. So it's actually kind of the same thing here, right? Who, uh, oh, I see, I see. when someone TPs, they're going to take this path and they're basically going to check two spots. This is something like, uh, like I don't even think Ascendance would do. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good. Good gun. Get out. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I want this to be a lesson. I want this round to be a lesson. Okay. You grab orb, hit the TP. Everyone in their right mind should know a player TP'd here. Right. But if we skip forward 10 seconds, this deadlock is brutally unaware that you just TP'd. How? I don't know. But now you know how much you can get away with in these situations. Right. Yeah. I think you play around your flashes though very well. Like, I think the way you think when you have this ability in your hand is kind of the way you want to think when you have, like, just, like, timings. It seems like you become aware of timings a lot more when you have your flash in your hand. You're like, could they be up here? No. Okay, they might be up now. I'm going to flash. It's literally that. And that's how you get... Oh, my God. Yeah. Just pretend you have a flash in your hand at all times. And you have good timings. Same thing with this one, too. So try not to... Full commit after. Okay. So we have learned from your attack. Sorry. Defense is um, for making decisions. 
think as if you have your flash in your hand. Where could they be? Where have they been? So our big thing is just going to be grabbing intel. I want you to have intel before you make any any of your decisions. And then the second thing I care about is actually your ult. The ult right now, I only want to I want to see you use it for retakes that executes. I want us to start here because this half we only used it for like psycho pushes through showers when nine times out of ten it's going to work in these situations. And I want us to start there and then we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how we can use it for the showers play. Ghost flash. Nice flash. Good clears. Oh. Nice shrimp. Okay, so let's pu let's further push this notion because you're going to do this entry probably like 500 times in your lifetime. Okay, so this flash here is good. You've effectively treated this right side space. And now we're going into U-Haul. Now, a really good way to think about um, entries is to put little dangers where people are. So right here, we just eliminated this danger, basically. These are the major spots you want to check. And now I want you to watch it back and tell me, did we check all these dangers? No. Yeah, I missed two corners. So this is really important for entries. Um, it basically just means you don't have control of the space because there's still dangers that exist. And that can really bite you in the butt sometimes if stuff isn't full cleared. And you do a pretty good job of this sometimes. Like when you TP, you know to clear this corner, which is actually really good. Most players forget that. Um, but just keeping that in mind, all li like literally all I want you to do is think about where they could be. Where's the next threat that they could be on? They're not here. Could they be in this corner? Nope. Could they be here? Could they be here? And you're just like literally taking them one by one. Out of the way. Oh yeah, we are the entry. Holy crap. No hesitation. Just ran out. Love that from us. Okay, but not when you're full stunned. <laughs> you did not want to stop. I mean, I had a question here. If you go back to that, should I have cleared before I just ran out with my flash? Like, what? I'm like, okay with it. You're full sending it. It's nothing you could have just been swung from here as you're like running up. But I'm down for it. I mean, I wasn't down for it, is just running at them through two concusses. Nice though, good ult. This one pissed me off. I was like, watch for a raise and I'm like, oh. Yeah, nothing we could have done. I even called it out too. Oh, your teammates just can't clear that. Like you were the first contact here. Yeah. So you either let your teammates go and clear that, right? You could have waited for a dog to clear this, or you could have had a teammate go right side. Very specific, but 100% not your teammates fault here, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, nice. They're psychoing short. I don't know why I'll Bro, you get stuck in the net. That's so unlucky. I thought for sure would... Oh, nah. The Razolt's coming behind us right now. Oh, they kill her, thank god. <laughs> Terrible wall. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. Nice. Wait, good. Wait, you just like locked in there. I feel like I just watched a different player with these shots and movement. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. They're feeding us kills. Um... Okay, next time we'll talk about it. Yeah, next time we'll talk about it. Um, sometimes you play very solo dolo, like right now. It's a 5v3. And we talked about like you're just seeking out 1v1s. You know, so your entire team's... This is no bueno. Um, yeah. So try to take, stick with the team in these situations. Especially because it looks like two of them died without trades, which is... Also no bueno. I'm so down to flash. I'm so down to flash. Nice. I'm so down to flash. Yeah. Nice. Tuck, go for a flash again. Nice. Yeah, your flashes are really good. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh, nice try, dude. Oh, 
got it. Easy freaking peasy. Nice. Pause. I'm a player. I'm coming out of CT. Where is the first place I'm going to look? Yeah. 100%. 100%. Hey, we still take those. Uh, <laughs> we still take those. Easy yeah, yeah, peasy. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. So, fun question, where can we reposition ourselves? Or what can we do to gain an advantage on this player we know is going to come out CT? Uh, sure, and go where? Where would you? Where else would you like to hold? I see, maybe on top of the box behind me? Yeah, heck yeah, right? On top of these double boxes, holding CT, this guy swings. But you're on top of this, this guy swings. Unexpected head height, W. Okay, where else? There's two more. I don't want you to find. Uh, I, maybe like I could also jump on that crate. Oh, yep. Like, yeah, that Perfect. One. Second one's a little tricky. I mean, I guess I could hold where Brim's. <laughs> yep. Kind of troll. It is kind of troll, but it classifies. And if you did this, I'd be like, okay, he's trying to play an off angle. I think I would like the crate play the best though. Either yep. either on site or on behind me. These guys have been literally double flanking some rounds. Oh, GG Sky. Yup, you're dead. I hate jumping out of hookah, it's like... <laughs> when you go out hookah without any abilities, it's always gonna feel like shit. So, this, this, this. Use yeah. this when you entry instead. You see how this changes the situation versus just jumping out or even just like just with the flash. And it, it comes down to the same concepts we've already been talking about. Or like there's a bunch of dangers here on site. Right? Remember we talking about how annoying Garden is when you come outside? Yeah. So you have all these dangers when you come outside. And if you don't use stuff to make the situation easier, you're just gonna feel like shit because you're gonna constantly be fighting like five different people at once. Or when you do these abilities, you can at least be like they have to be in the center site. But I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda quiz you next time. We have a session okay. and be like, yo, where could we have been here? And yeah. did, did we need to check this corner? Did we need to look here? Did we need to use this here? I want you to play a death match with this. <laughs>